in theory can be buns, but in practice, I have a feeling it's not going to be that buns. Um, I feel like Bayonetta can actually kind of diddle this character a little bit if it's done properly, but I... In, in practice, I feel like that's not going to necessarily be the case, because, like, the neutral can be very different on the part of K. Roll. I mean, the character does have projectiles, but he's got to be a little bit more disciplined with them in a matchup like this, because of which time, as small as that is, I don't know if Bayonetta will be able to cover, but the armor on top of that and the CQC, I feel like that's where K. Roll is going to actually be able to beat Bayonetta to the punch, so I feel like this matchup is going to really come down to the individual playstyle, honestly. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. At the end of the day, like, you look at K. Roll and you say, wow, this character is combo food, and this character is going to die from the top of the blast zone. However, Case in point. Like, however, you also look at Bayonetta versus K. Rool and say, well, if K. Rool gets that one big hit, well, it's practically an even game. It's one of those scenarios where uh, Bayo's gonna do all her combos, gonna get you to that, like, really high percent, and then in, like, three or four hits, K. Rool just kind of brings it back and evens things out. But so far, Kibli has not been able to play this game. This is exactly what you do against a character like K. Rool. Do not let them touch any of their buttons outside of trying to SDI out of these uh, witch twists, don't which we haven't seen any. Yeah, don't let them play the game. That's a big one for sure. You want to keep this character at disadvantage forever, which so many players and so many characters in this game can. And Bayonetta is definitely no stranger to that for sure. I mean, she does that against characters who don't struggle to land. You know what I mean? This character is pretty much designed on keeping you at disadvantage with the witch twist. My, my question is, honestly, because I don't know, because I do not remember the last time I've seen this matchup, if ever. Does Belly Armor beat out Witch Twist if he's able to get the hitbox out in time? If because you, I genuinely have no idea. If you hit Bayo, yes. Okay, it I figured stop. it did, I just wanted to make sure. It's not easy to get out of that uh, state, but Kibli has not re really been able to utilize that armor to his advantage, so it seems like it doesn't even matter at this point as uh, Ari is continuing yeah. on the rampage. You know they're going to go off stage there. That was an up smash, my friend. Back air was not the solution to be going for right there. I, it, it looked like... It looked like Cubley uh, just really didn't want to commit there, to be completely honest, and that's why they decided to do a drifting back air towards the ledge, but that down air would have confirmed into an up oh, smash no. for sure, and now it's looking like we're going to eat way more damage. It's way too low a percent to kill K. Rool, second, uh, second heaviest character in the game off the top, but this time, no, still not enough, not close enough to the blast zone forward air. It's not going to be able to launch upwards in that direction, close enough to it. This is looking like it might be GG's already. It's obviously too early to call. The screen doesn't say game, but... How does K. Rool bring this back? The Honestly. mental damage has already been done. Going up against a character like Bayo, who doesn't allow you to touch, like, to play this game the way that you want to, and stuff like that. Like, you can use all the crowns and cannonballs you want. You are still going to be put in a witch time if you're too close to the Bayo anyways. And right now, I mean, Ari's been playing this game to perfection, despite getting a few, uh, getting hit with some things here and there. Finally going to lose a stock as the sucker cut comes through for K. Rool. Yeah, finally getting the, like, the, uh, the vacuum hit, uh, launcher of the blunderbuss out, but we're really not seeing the cannonball be used too much. We see, we see him launch the cannonball, but then he kind of just doesn't utilize, like, the, the vacuum portion of it for the right. cannonball. He doesn't shoot it again. I mean, what is Bayonetta going to do? She's going to witch time it from up there. She's not going to be able to punish you, mm. even if she does that from afar, unless you try to get too close with it. It's still a good option to cover space against Bayonetta, especially considering how much time this character loves to spend in the air, even getting uh, in, out of disadvantage, or even playing in advantage as well. And I think he might have heard me, because that was the first time he did it the entire game so far. I want to be able to see that more often. Kibli's doing a really good job adapting slowly but surely to the matchup this fight. Even if even if they're not able to they're gonna even if they don't take this game specifically, like yeah, oh, which he won't. the fear had been instilled. Two hundred percent second heaviest character in the game. We were slowly seeing the adaptation there. We're utilizing the blunderbuss to cover space a little bit better. Maybe go to a smaller stage where Bayonetta's gonna have a harder time getting down. Because I feel like K. Rool's just going to kind of get comboed no matter what. You know what I mean? It's K. Rool versus Bayonetta. This character is going to make her way in with the ABKs, with the heel slides. Can witch time projectiles even and be able to get punishes off of it if you don't play your cards right. So, I feel like the size of the stage is not necessarily going to matter because of the sheer girth of this lad of K. Rool. You know what I mean? So, I'd go to a smaller stage. Maybe try to like cover space with the cannonball and the blunderbuss a little bit better. And looking like we might do that. Small Battlefield is the pick here. Okay. Not a bad stage. No. However, you're still in the same stage layout. What you got to do in this matchup literally just revolves around knowing when to go aggressive yeah. against Bayonetta. 
Yeah, like, you can hold your shield, you can pray that Bale just touches your shield, and you can just get a free punish off that, or you could just get in on Bale and not allow her to play the game. Like, you really have to know how to get in because, yeah, the moment that Bale goes for a Witch Twist just like that, like, you're going to be taking a quick 40 to, to 80, like, quick. Uncontested. Yeah, I feel like K. Roll can play to Bayonetta's weaknesses in this matchup. But there like, you go. Yeah, there you go. Like that, for instance, being able to power through there. But obviously, that's a finite resource. The belly armor will eventually break. The scary thing is, you know, like, ABK can just, like, call out a lot of K. Rule's aerial approach options. You know, like, Bayonetta kind of doesn't have to worry about that. She can just kind of stand there, wait for you to commit to something as the forward air is going to take the stock, as well as kill you <laughs> off the level and kill yourself by messing up your air dodge. And now we have a second chance, a uh, second lease on life for uh, Kibali. I want to see Kibali play a little bit more grounded. Throw a lot more of those, uh, throw a lot more of those crowns out there. Because yes, Bayonetta will be able to witch time those, but she won't be able to punish them from the other side of the level because of how low the uh, the the, uh, the dirt. What am I trying to say here? The uh, the length of the witch twist right. of the uh, the witch time. My goodness, is a like, on projectiles. Because then, what is Bayonetta going to do? She's going to approach on the ground. She sucks at that. She's real bad at that. So that's where K Rule really has to play against Bayonetta here instead of just messing around in the air because she's just going to get ABK'd for it every time and then forward air towards the blast oh zone. Oh my god! Or get put in a bad enough position where off the level you're just going to die. I got to see the aerial approaches from Kiba Lee just stop here. It's not good to do against Bayonetta when you are that large of a character. Playing against a character like Bayo when you play K. Rule is it, it, it does so much damage to you mentally. Like, you want to be able to just play the game and do what you do best as K. Rule and that's just like play the gimmick game against your opponent but with a character that just doesn't let you touch the ground like we're seeing a quick 113 already tacked on of damage in the final stock of Kibli and this could be the whole game right now if uh, Ar if Ari is able to just uh, just get that one big hit Trying to cover space with the up air right there, nothing doing. Getting a little bit of the belly armor out, but not able to actually get the hit on Bayonetta herself. Just holding in is going to wind up getting hit by the down air. That's a yeet! Killing at a crazy sort of percent. We've seen K. Rule come back from some pretty crazy scenarios, my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, but, but not this one. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that looked like Smash 4 knockback for a second there. I got deja vu looking at that. Did you see it was like the slow, like, anti-balloon knockback? The witch that was K. Rule going through uh, the perfume department.